everybody, it's Lisa here from Rocco Baby Crochet. A huge welcome back to all my returning viewers and subscribers. Lovely to have you here and a huge welcome to anybody who's just found the channel for the first time. I just wanted to do this really quick stitch tutorial for you. And this stitch here is called the Zigzag Spike Puff Stitch and it's a beautiful stitch. It's really easy to do once you get into the swing of it. It's only a two row repeat. It does make a really thick fabric and it's the same on both sides. Sorry, I've not tied in my loose ends here. But it is exactly the same on both sides. It's a great stitch perhaps if you wanted to be making some pot holders or some cup cozies or something like that. It is a bit of a yarn eater because it's a puff stitch. So be aware of that before you start your project that you will go through a lot of yarn with this one. But it is lots of fun to make. If you enjoy these tutorials and patterns that I release, please don't forget to subscribe. It will mean that you won't miss out on my next tutorial or free pattern and it also supports Rocco Baby Crochet as well. So grab your hooks, grab a cuppa, grab your yarn and let's learn this stitch together. So to begin you want to make yourself a slip knot and pop that onto your hook and the foundation chain for this stitch is any multiple of two so you're going to want to make a foundation chain which is an even number to the width that you want your project to be at I'm just going to do a really small sample here but feel free to chain as wide as you want it, your project to be as long as it's an even number so you're going to yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through so I've just made four chains five, six, seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. And I'll just leave it there for my sample piece. For row 1 we want to start in the second chain from the hook. Now remember I prefer to use the back bumps but if you want to use the front side of your work you're counting down two V's and it's into that second one there that you'll be working. I just prefer to turn my chain over and work into the bumps that run down the centre of all these stitches and it's into that second chain along. I'm going to be inserting my hook and placing a UK double crochet and then I'm going to be placing one UK double crochet in every chain along so I chain 24 so at the end of row 1 I should have a stitch count of 23 so you, your stitch count should be one less than the amount of chains you made remembering we skipped one chain at the beginning of row 1 so if you want to go ahead work your way along placing one UK double crochet, US single crochet in every stitch along. I'll leave links to the videos for these stitches if you need a bit of a refresh on the stitches that we're using in this pattern. This tutorial is just about showing you the zigzag stitch. So come to me when you're at the end, when you're about to finish up at the end of the row. We're going to do a colour change in this last stitch so press play when you're just before that point. I'll see you shortly. So I've reached my very last chain and I'm going to insert my hook into it as usual and pull up a loop but at that point then I'm going to drop this first colour and pick up my second colour. Now you don't want to cut off that first colour because we'll pick it up in rows as we work up this piece of work. Drape your second colour over your hook and pull it through to finish off that double crochet and if you just pull on that first colour it just tightens everything up a little bit for you so your edges are nice and neat. Then you're just going to chain one and turn your work. So that chain one that we've just made doesn't count as a stitch it's just a turning chain and into the first stitch here that our chain one is coming out of you want to place a UK double crochet and then you are going to chain one into the very next stitch across is where we're going to place our first puff stitch so what you want to do is you're going to yarn over insert your hook into that second stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and you're going to do that in total three times so that's one two 
and three. And at this point you should have seven loops on your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook and then chain one. And that chain one is really important to keep your puff stitch all together. Then you're going to skip a stitch and into the next stitch along you're going to place another puff stitch. So yarning over, insert your hook and pulling up a loop in total three times. Two, and three, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook and chain one just to, con just to secure your puff. Skip a stitch and into the next stitch along place another puff stitch. So yarning over, insert your hook into that second stitch along and pull up a loop in total three times. So there's one, two, three. So you'll always have seven loops on your hook yarning over, pull through all loops on your hook and chain one to secure. Skip a stitch, puff stitch into the next one. So yarning over, pulling up a loop three times, two and three. So I've got seven loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all loops and chain one to secure. So for row two, you're just going to repeat that all the way along. So I'll meet you when I'm coming up to the, the end of my row. So you're gonna be skipping a stitch, placing a puff stitch, skipping a stitch, placing a puff stitch. And I'll see you when you're ready to move up to row three. So I've just placed my last puff stitch and I've chained one and I've got my last stitch to work into. And I'm going to make a double crochet there. So I'm gonna insert my hook and pull up a loop. But I'm gonna to change to my third color at this point. So I'm gonna grab my third colour, drape that over my hook and pull that through and if you just give a little pull on your ends just to keep that tight, you don't want it over tight so it's, so it's changing the shape of your work but you don't want it too loose either. So you'll chain one and again that chain one there doesn't count as a stitch, it's just a turning chain and turn your work and don't worry about your second colour, again, similar to the first, we're not going to cut it off, we're going to pick it up in later rows. And into this first stitch here, we're going to place a UK double crochet and chain one. And then what we want to do is we're going to skip across to this very first skipped double crochet in row one. So we're skipping row two and we're going down to row one. And in between these two puff stitches, you should be able to see a double crochet. And we're gonna work a puff stitch into that double crochet there. So you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. And you're gonna do that in total three times, one, two and three and again you'll have seven loops on your hook at this point you will want to yarn over pull through all loops on your hook and chain one just to secure and so we're just going to repeat that all the way along so we're going to skip this puff stitch here and then work our next puff stitch right here into that skip stitch two rows below so for this row it's row one and you will yarn over insert your hook into that skip double crochet and make another puff stitch so inserting your hook pulling up a loop three times until you've got seven loops on your hook yarning over and pulling through all loops on hook and then chain one. Skip your puff stitch and work into the skipped double crochet two rows below. Yarn over, insert your hook and place a puff stitch there. And you'll do that all the way across for row three. Skipping the puff stitch, working into the skipped double crochet from two rows below when you're ready to move up to row four come back to me and we can do that together so i'm just placing my very last puff stitch of row three so i need to do my three pull throughs yarn over pull through all loops on my hook chain one and then we're going to skip the puff stitch and place a uk double crochet in the very last stitch for row three and we're going to do a color change back to our first color which you should still have here hanging down below so insert your hook into that very last stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and then drop your third color and pick up your first color and just pull that through don't pull too tightly 
off too loosely you want it to keep the shape so it's not pulling your work out of shape and then you're going to chain one and turn your work we're all ready to start row four now and I think it's important to mention that row four and row five are the repeat rows for the remainder of this pattern. So row four and five is what you'll continue to follow until your project has reached the length you want it to reach. So we've finished making the foundation of the stitch and now we're working our repeat rows. So row four, our first of our repeat rows, we're going to place a double crochet into this very first stitch here to get us started and chain one and then what we want to do we're going to skip two rows so we're going here in between our for me my red color and in between my first double crochet and my puff stitch there was a chain one and that's where I'm going to place my first puff stitch so I'm going to yarn over drop down and place a puff stitch exactly the same way inserting my hook and pulling up a loop three times till I've got seven loops on my hook yarning over pull through all seven loops and chain one and then we're going to skip this puff stitch and two rows below where my chain one is just before that red puff stitch there I'm going to place my next puff stitch so I'm going to yarn over insert my hook pulling up a loop again in total three times so you'll always be placing your puff stitches two rows below for the remainder of this pattern and chaining one skipping a puff stitch and working in the next chain one space and your puff stitches will all be the same yarning over and pulling up a loop three times which will create seven loops on your hook and you chain one to secure it and make that space for your puff stitch in a couple of rows time so I'm moving across and placing another puff stitch Pulling through, chaining one, skipping this puff stitch to the next row below and then dropping down two rows and placing a puff stitch here in this chain one space. Skipping this puff stitch and working in the chain one space two rows below and placing another puff stitch. So if you want to work your way across your row, press pause and come back to me when you're ready to move up to row five and I'll show you row five together. So I'm just at the end of row four. I've already placed my very last puff stitch, chained one and I'm just going to make a double crochet into this very last stitch here pulling up a loop in my first colour, dropping my first colour and picking up my second colour which for me is the red and just pulling that through. Chain one and turn your work. So for row five what we're going to do I'm going to place a double crochet into this first stitch and chain one and then we're going to skip this puff stitch here and work into the chain one space two rows below so that's the cream row for me so I'm going to yarn over insert my hook into that chain one space two rows below and place a puff stitch there one two and three seven loops on my hook yarn over pull through all loops and chain one and then we'll skip the puff and work into the next chain space two rows below so into the cream for me and place my next puff stitch into the next chain space two rows below place another puff stitch so I think that the main difference here is if you remember when you are starting an even numbered row you're not going to skip a puff you're going to work directly into that first chain space and when you work in an odd number row you're going to skip a puff stitch at the very beginning and you'll just continue to do that all the way across placing a puff stitch, skipping a puff stitch and placing a puff stitch in the chain one space two rows below. So meet me when you're finishing up row five and we'll move up to row six together. So I've just placed my last puff stitch, chained one, so this is for row five and I'm just going to insert my hook in the double crochet 
just at the end there and pull up a loop drop my second colour and pick up my third and then I'll repeat row four again so I'll chain one and turn my work like I said you will just repeat rows four and five over and over so the even numbered rows what you're going to do is place your double crochet and then you're not going to skip anything and place your first double crochet in the chain space two rows below to know that you're on an even row your loose end from your foundation chain if you are right-handed will be on the right hand side and for left-handers that will be the opposite it will be on the left hand side but if you're right-handed your loose end from your foundation chain will be on the right hand side when you're on an even row and when you're on an odd numbered row it will be on your left hand side so when you're on an even you're not going to skip anything you're going to work a puff stitch directly here into your first chain space and when you're on an odd numbered row you'll skip a puff stitch that's the easiest way I find to remember it so this video will be time stamped so feel free to click between rows four and five if you need a little bit of a recap it is a bit of a yarn eater just be aware of that before you start your projects but I hope you have lots of fun it's a really easy stitch once you get into the swing of it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have and don't want to miss out on the next tutorial then please hit the subscribe button below it would also be great to see you over on the Facebook page sharing pictures of any makes that you've done recently we've got a lovely little community growing over there on Facebook have lots of fun with this stitch take care have a great week happy hooking and I'll see you real soon bye